Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav Gulecha and I welcome you to this channel. How to differentiate between a person who is true and a person who is not true. So there is a uh, discourse that I came across. It is the shorter discourse on the full moon night. Uh, middle discourse is 110. The link to the complete discourse is given in the description. Uh, in this discourse, it's a beautiful, very clear, to the point discourse where Buddha is differentiating. It's, it's basically Buddha is talking about the qualities of the untrue person and the qualities of the true person, right? So this discourse can help us identify what qualities we need to stay away from on our path to liberation and what qualities we need to cultivate within us. So it's a very good mix of the Four Noble Truths, the uh, the, the the precepts and the uh, Noble Eightfold Path, right? So so the whole thing is a very good way it's, it's coming out in this discourse. So let's study this discourse. So Buddha says that uh, 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 Buddha says talk, first talk about the untrue person. Who is an untrue person? So Buddha says an untrue person has bad qualities, right? So number one has bad qualities. Second, associates with untrue persons. His association, you know, the kind of people that that we 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 get connected with, right? That impacts us. So second is associates with untrue persons. Third, intentions. Counsel, speech, actions, views and giving of an untrue person, right? So the first Buddha says bad qualities, second associates with untrue persons, third intentions, bad intentions, fourth bad counsel, uh, fifth is speech, sixth actions, seventh views and eighth giving of an untrue people. So eight basically qualities that Buddha is highlighting of that untrue person and then he highlights each of the eight qualities in further detail. So Buddha says, how does an untrue person have bad qualities? So Buddha says, untrue person is faithless. He doesn't have faith, right, in the teacher, right? What I understand from this is faith in the Buddha, faith in the teacher, faith in the path. Shameless, no shame. Imprudent, unlearned. That means he doesn't study, he doesn't learn the scriptures, he doesn't learn the path. Lazy, right, unmindful unmindful and witless. Okay? This is how an untrue person has bad qualities. That's the first. Then how does an untrue person associate with untrue persons? It's when an untrue person is a friend and companion of ascetics and Brahmins who are faithless, shameless, imprudent, unlearned, lazy, mindful, witless. So being in a company of people with these bad qualities, that makes the that untrue person uh, uh, being associated with untrue persons right third how does the untrue person have intentions of an untrue person so here buddha says it's when the untrue person intends to hurt themselves hurt others or hurt both that means either that person hurt themselves that means they have self-harm tendencies right hurting themselves uh, uh, physically or mentally whichever way hurting others that means either killing them or giving some some punishment mentally or physically uh, hurting the others these tendencies they have that's how they have the intentions of an untrue person. Then, how does an untrue person offer the counsel of an untrue person? It's when an untrue person offers counsel that hurts themselves or hurts others or both. That means he gives any advice or counsel to anyone else that either hurts themselves or hurt others or hurts both. Right? That was there. Then, how does an untrue person have the speech of an untrue person? Right? Speech. So, here... It's like the right speech, the noble two, uh, eightfold path right speech. Buddha says that when an untrue person uses speech that is false, that means lie, lying, divisive, speech that divides people, harsh, that means abusive, harsh speech, right? And nonsensical, nonsensical is the idle speech, for, just idle gossip. That's how the speech. Fifth, how does an untrue person have the in action of an untrue person? It's when the untrue person kills living creatures, steals and commits sexual misconduct. So this is all going back to the uh, right action, right, uh, of that noble eightfold path. He kills living creatures, steals and commits sexual misconduct, right. Then uh, how does an untrue person have the view of an untrue person? View, right. Again, we come to the right view. Uh, if you know the noble eightfold path, then this will all re resonate. It's when the untrue person has such a view, there is no meaning in giving sacrifice or offerings. He doesn't believe in giving, sacrifice or offerings. There is no fruit 
or a result of good and bad deeds he doesn't believe in the law of karma and the good and bad deeds the di the difference in the consequence that will come there is no afterlife he thinks that there is no afterlife there is no such thing as mother father or beings that are reborn spontaneously and there is no ascetic or brahman who is rightly comported and rightly practiced and who describes the afterlife after realizing it with their own insight so he thinks that there is no ascetic or brahman who who has realized and who knows uh, that you know there is uh, who describes the afterlife after realizing it with their own insight that's how an untrue person has the view of an untrue person right then how does an untrue person give the gifts of an untrue person right gifts right it's when the untrue person gives so again buddha here talks about so there is a full three part series of videos i have made on buddha's teachings on giving right so there buddha has talked about the, there is also a way that has to be there when we gift something so untrue person how he will gift carelessly not with his own hand and thoughtlessly right they give the dregs and they give without consideration for the consequences that's how an untrue person give the gifts of an untrue person so then buddha says that untrue person who has such bad qualities frequents untrue person means frequently goes and meets untrue persons has a intention counsel speech actions use and giving of an untrue person when their body breaks up after death is reborn in the place where untrue persons are born where basically buddha talks about the hell or so and what is the place where untrue persons are born hell or the animal realm right hell either the hell realms or the animal realm right so these places if a person is born he faces intense suffering especially in the hell realms and he is not able to do his practice he is not able to come out of this cycle of samsara right so he borns reborns in these realms right because of his actions that he has done in this life now then uh, uh, buddha says mendicants could a true person know of a true person this fellow is a true person yes sir then what are the qualities of the true person so buddha says again this way is going in the reverse a true person has good qualities associated with true persons has the intentional counsel speech action views and giving of a true person right so now what are the individual things first how so buddha says how does the true person have good qualities it's when the true person is faithful conscientious prudent learned energetic mindful and wise that's how the true person has good qualities how does the true person associate with true persons it's when the true person is a friend and companion so it's like you know the sangha the com the companionship of people who are on the path it's when the true person is a friend and companion of ascetics or brahmins who are faithful conscientious prudent learned energetic mindful and wise how does a true person have the intentions of a true person it's when a true person doesn't intend to hurt themselves or hurt others or both see friends life is very very precious right this human life that we have got even the gods yearn for this kind of a life that we get and we are so fortunate being in this life human life we can practice the dharma and we can listen to the teachings of the buddha right and we can fully enlighten ourselves we can make our effort to enlighten ourselves right so so the person who is a true person who doesn't think about harming themselves or harming others both like harming themselves by way of self harm or suicide it creates negative karma and harming others killing others giving others suffering that also creates uh, you know a big amount of karma so he desists from that how does a true person offer the counsel of a true person it's when the true person offers a counsel that doesn't hurt others doesn't hurt themselves or both how does a true person have the speech of a true person it's when a true person refrains from speech that is false divisive harsh or nonsensical so here understand this that buddha is not talking about speech that is very kind and polite and compassionate and all first thing that buddha wants us to do is not refrain from false divisive harsh nonsensical speech first our target should be that then it's all about having compassion in our speech and everything right so in our day to day we need to be mindful of this how does a true person have the actions of a true person it's when the true person refrains from killing living creatures stealing commissioning sexual misconduct right then how does a true person have the view of a true person if it's when the true person has such a view there is a meaning in giving sacrifice and offerings right there are fruits and results of the good and bad deeds there is an afterlife there is there are such things as mother and father 
and beings that are reborn spontaneously. And there are ascetics and Brahmins who are rightly comported and rightly practiced and who describe the afterlife after realizing it with their own insight. That's how true person has view of a true person. How does a true person give the gifts of the true person? It's when the true person gives the gift carefully. Carefully we need to give the gift with their own hand and thoughtfully. They don't give the dreads. They don't give the, you know, the bad stuff. And they give it with the consideration for the consequences. Right? That's how the true person gives the gifts. That true person who has such good qualities associates with true persons, who has the intention, counsel, speech, action, view and giving of a true person. When their body breaks up after that, they are reborn in a place where the true persons are reborn. And what is the place where true persons are reborn? A state of greatness among gods or humans. Right? That means even in gods or, or humans, a state of greatness. Right? So basically, they, because of these deeds that they have gone, done, gone, uh, they have done in this life, they accumulate good karma and they reach a state in the higher realms or within the human realm where they can continue practice and then achieve, move towards the nirvana. Right? So this is a, a short discourse that I came across on the qualities of the true person, untrue person. Now we can reflect and you know on our life. Buddha's teachings are all about practice, right? Practical, uh, you know, uh, implementation. We can reflect where we need to work on, right? So I I know for the for sure that you know I need to work on my speech. Sometimes I am harsh uh, in speech with my family members. Now some 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 places we, we we are we are having these tendencies. So somewhere you also reflect on what takes you in the direction of becoming a true person. See, we all have positive and negative qualities. It's not that if you have negative qualities, we need to be feel sad or something. No, that's wrong. We need to just accept what is there, which is arising right now. Be mindful and be very careful on what we speak, what actions do we do, right? Because all that is what matters. What Buddha says in the five remembrance, the fifth remembrance, Buddha says our actions are our true friends and only we carry our actions, our karma. We cannot escape from our actions. Only we take them in our afterlife. Right? So be very careful with your karma and uh, be a true person. Uh, uh, that's a wish I have for myself and for you also. Uh, I hope this was useful. Do share your thoughts, uh, feedback, reflections in the comment section. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Namo Buddha, Namo Buddha.